sure we get some good contact there. And to, ah, look at that, there it goes. Man, that runs fast too. So 1.4 volts and it's putting out, I'll put this on the 10 milliamp setting. Okay, it's greater than 10 milliamps. All right, it's putting out 90 milliamps. Okay, so I've had lots of requests from folks on how to build the uh, crystal power cell. And uh, if you followed along at laserhacker.com, I've had uh, some crystal power cells on there powering a motor and an LED for the last two years on a live video feed. And I've just got comment after comment with folks asking, how do you build the crystal power cells? So this video is going to go over the building of this cell. It's very simple. Uh, it's a quick build, but I just thought I'd show the process I go through when I build a crystal power cell. And uh, these crystal power cells, the first time I saw them on a YouTube video was years ago. John Hutchison uh, showed one running a small motor and kind of talked about them. IB Pointless 2, John Bedini, a uh, lid motor. A, a lot of us were experimenting with these a couple years ago. And then I just put some into long-term testing. I, I just put them on a shelf and said, let's see how these run uh, over the next few years. And they've been doing quite well. I've been quite impressed with the duration of runtime I've gotten out of these. And I'm going to build up uh, some more here. I'm actually going to build a larger system, but this video is going to document the building of a single cell. I'm going to build a 10-cell setup, and I'm going to get around 15 volts. And uh, subscribe, follow along if you want to see that project. It will probably be the video after this one. So there seems to be about half a cup of uh, alum in one of these containers. So I'm going to go ahead and use all of that. And uh, I just want to break it up a little more in this coffee grinder so that it mixes better. It's really clumpy. But yeah, half cup of each of these ingredients. And uh, that should be just right. Okay, so now a half cup of this no salt uh, sodium free substitute. And this, uh, if you look at the ingredients, this is potassium chloride. And that's one of the main ingredients in this. So we'll put the potassium uh, chloride in here, half a cup. That's about right. So now we want to get uh, half a cup of the uh, borax in there. So as you can tell, these are very approximate measurements. I have not researched for a precise ratio because with a two-year testing time and the previous cells still going, it would take a long time to really figure out the, uh, the perfect ratio. But after uh, two years of use, uh, this ratio seems to be working pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, powder up the uh, borax at this point. And that will leave the last ingredient, which is the Epsom salt. And we'll get that in here. So half a cup Epsom salt. And you can see this stuff is really granular, so we're going to have to uh, blend this up a little more to get a good mix. Okay, so that's our mix. I'm going to go ahead and put a uh, cover over this and we'll shake this up. We really want to mix all these ingredients together thoroughly, so. Okay, so we got this stuff uh, mixed up and we're ready to actually uh, build the uh, crystal cell. Okay, so we've got the burner on. I've got the magnesium uh, core here ready, and we're just going to build a very simple uh, crystal cell here. This will just be the magnesium core with a copper uh, pipe cap. And the only difference I'm going to do is I'm going to put a spacer down here so that this uh, magnesium core doesn't get pushed up from the bottom and out the top, which has happened to mine. If you look at the uh, live video feed on mine, you, I, <laughs> over the years, this has actually been getting pushed up from the bottom. So after two years, it's about a quarter, maybe three-eighths of an inch higher out the top. And I want to stop that by putting a cap on the bottom. So, yeah, we'll proceed. Okay, so I've got a small uh, wood disc. I'm going to go ahead and glue that on the bottom of this. And... Uh, 
it's really gravity is going to hold it down so I'm just going to put a little bit of a uh, hot glue on the wood here and just uh, basically glue that right to the center all right so we're ready to start adding the uh, material around the uh, cell and I've got the hot plate set to warm you really don't want to overheat this too quickly or this uh, material will just come bubbling up and out of the cell and it'll be a real mess so okay so I have this burner in the lowest setting this is on just warm and I can tell that the uh, crystal cell material is uh, really getting hot it starts to get in a molten looking state and uh, that's what you want so on the lowest setting it's adequate heat for a uh, really getting this uh, stuff melted down. Okay, I'm going to use this heat gun just to warm up the, the top section because a lot of times the bottom section will get really hot but the top section will not be as hot and you'll get this stuff boiling at the bottom and uh, still kind of crusty at the top and that can also create a situation in which this material will bubble up out of the cell. So a little bit of heat up here. Okay, so it's starting to really bubble and boil in here, so I have this small piece of wire and I can work around and just uh, kind of work the material back down into there a little bit. Um, but it's, this is getting very close to, uh, to being done here. I just want to make sure it has enough, enough material to bring it all the way to the top. So I've had to alternate between the hot plate and the, uh, the cooling stand here a little bit to get the temperature right, but this looks to be just about right so what I really don't want is I don't want a lot of large air bubbles and yet I want the material to be uh, in a liquid state and very uh, very loose and fluid around the uh, magnesium core and that's exactly how this is right now so finally got this uh, correct and uh, I'll bring down the camera close to this so you can see what that looks like Okay, so you can see here that there's a small bubble over here, but if I tap it, uh, it just disappears. So we really want to keep it in this state as it cools down. Okay, so I really like where that's at. So rather than letting this uh, bubble up and uh, battle that changing in temperature, I'm going to try cooling this off at the bottom and uh, just setting this in water at this point. I really think that's the secret uh, to stop this from bubbling out of the top. We'll just try it. I've never done it this way, but I think setting this in here will allow this to just uh, firm up just the way I want. So I'll leave that and we'll see. All right, so this is uh, cooling off and you can see a really nice top surface on here. And uh, taking this from the hot plate right at that critical moment and setting it in the water to cool off stopped the heat from the bottom that was creating the bubbles that were coming through the top. So that seems to be working really well. Now you just want to leave this alone until this becomes rock hard. So don't get impatient, don't go, oh, I'm going to test it now. If you were to jostle this, you would form a crack fracture between the two materials. So you want to let this set up hard like concrete before you uh, do anything with it at this point. So we'll leave this in here. I'll come back in uh, 20 minutes, half an hour, and take a look at it. Okay, so the uh, crystal cells all cooled off. Uh, the crystal material set up hard like concrete inside here, and that's just how we want it. Went ahead and sanded uh, down the outside, so this is all cleaned up. It's ready to do a first test, and what I thought we had tested with is this small uh, DC motor. So let me just uh, connect up here. I want to connect to the outside of the uh, copper case. So we'll get make sure we get some good contact there, and to ah, look at that, there it goes, and that runs fast too. So yeah, I'd say that's a really good crystal cell. Hey, it's got some uh, torque. Listen to that, folks. You can hear that snapping against the side there. So that's, that's pretty impressive. Um, this turned out to be a great crystal cell.